You are here at the experimental station at Mershouche, which is given by the government of Morocco to ICARDA for its activities on crop improvement and the genetic resources multiplication, characterization, regeneration. We have been given 100 hectares for our research. Our gene bank activities here is focusing on multiplying the land races and the, the genetic resources of cultivated barley, durum wheat, bread wheat, lentil and chickpea. We have almost 10 hectares that are planted to genetic resources within what we call the activity of reconstruction. There are almost 14,000 accessions coming from Svalbard that are multiplied here this season. And we have other accessions that are coming within the normal uh, activities of the gene bank. We are now in the process of characterizing the genetic resources by taking all the heights of the plants, uh, the characteristics of the spikes. So you can see some of my colleagues now in, are in the fields really working on characterization. This is an example of our gene bank provides us every year. On one side, we give them our best elite material, which are the best variety, the most productive one. They cross them to the wide relative and land races, and they produce for us F2 crosses, which I go and I select. So they produce some hundreds every year. This is, for instance, is the same cross. Um, and in this case, you can see in, in one side, it came out pretty tall. On the other side, it came down quite short with rather large spike. This is an excellent example of the variability we get from the gene bank. And at that point, me and my team can go in, spray some of these spikes red, which means we have selected them. We will harvest only these. We'll put them together, we'll try to see in the long run if we can make them a variety or something very useful for breeding maybe. We don't know what they have inside, they may have great new genes that we don't know of, they might not have anything. So our job is basically just to give them a chance and see if there's anything there that we can use. We have facilities uh, in Lebanon to uh, accommodate for the crops that we are working on, mostly on cell-pollinated uh, forage and grain species and on cross-pollinated food legumes and cross-pollinated forage and grain species. The facilities that we have, in addition to the field, uh, are cages, uh, isolation cages for fava bean and latters. We have uh, 40 cages that can accommodate around 2,000 accessions every year. And we have around 200 small isolation cages in which we use bumblebees to facilitate the pollination for the self incompatible origin range species. Why we are using the greenhouse? Because this is controlled conditions. When we plant the material in the greenhouse, that means we have to take care of the plant from germination until harvest. Taking into account or taking into consideration very important point, all the genetic resources activities related to rangeland, pastures, legumes are done by hand. We don't use mechanism because we are looking for purity and we are looking for not mixing between the species or the accessions together. So it's tedious, uh, meticulous work and tedious work and time consuming work. A gene bank, one of the major activities, of course, is conservation and also distribution. And we have been distributing, on the average, over the years, 20 to 25,000 samples every year. 